a great deal of current uh, confusion and discussion over who God and Jesus are in relation to each other could be solved if people would pay attention to the all-important Psalm 110 verse 1, which is a verse that Jesus uh, used in order to silence all objection. It's quoted about 23 times, or alluded to about 23 times, across the pages of the New Testament and acts as a sort of umbrella text and acts as a sort of umbrella text over the whole of New Testament Christology, that's who is Jesus in relation to the Father. Unfortunately, standard textbooks simply misstate the facts about Psalm 110.1. I'm sure inadvertently, but because they can't read the Hebrew or they don't bother to look it up, but they make glaring mistakes, uh, as did incidentally the New American Standard updated version in, in, a, in a, an earlier printing, where they stated in Acts 2, verses 34 to 36, where Peter is using this very psalm, 110 verse 1, to prove that Jesus is now exalted to the right hand of the Father. And they state in the margin there that the Hebrew word for that second Lord in the Lord, Yahweh says to my Lord, that second Lord, the my Lord, they state in the margin there, the New American Standard updated version in, in an earlier uh, printing, they state that the Hebrew word there is Adonai, now that's simply false. Uh, please consult the rabbi or look it up yourself and see that the second Lord in Psalm 1 is not Adonai. That would be a disaster because Adonai is the title Lord for the Lord God. Yahweh is his personal name. Adonai occurs about 450 times and refers to the Lord God. Uh, normally a capital L, little O-R-D. But the word there in uh, Psalm 1, that second Lord, is not, I repeat, absolutely not, Adonai, not the Lord God. You don't have God speaking to God. The universe would collapse if that were even imagined. Now here in a standard textbook uh, edited by Charles Swindoll and Roy Zuck, Understanding Christian Theology, page 447, 447, page 447, we have this blatant misrepresentation of the facts about the Hebrew words here. They're quoting on page 447, The Lord, all capital letters, said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. Therefore Jesus said, David himself calls him Lord, how then? Can he be his son? It's a very interesting question uh, there in Mark chapter 12, verses 35 to 37. Now the textbook tells us the following misinformation. The Hebrew text, Psalm 1, actually reads, Yahweh said to Adonai. Well, it actually doesn't read that at all. And this is a very important distinction. I'm citing now the uh, International Standard Bible Encyclopedia, which makes this very excellent observation. The form Adoni, not Adonai, but Adoni, my lord, with a little l, is a royal title, and it is to be carefully distinguished from the divine title Adonai, my lord, with a capital L. Carefully distinguished, note. The difference between God and man, a very important distinction in scripture. And so when this textbook then, Understanding Christian Theology, uh, edited by Dr. Swindoll says the Hebrew text in Psalm 101 actually says, actually reads, Yahweh said to Adonai. It's false. Yahweh says to Adoni. Adoni is the non-deity title. All 195 times never refers to God, refers always to an elevated man, occasionally an angel. But the word is absolutely not Adonai there. Yahweh, the Lord, referred to God the Father, the book says, and of course that's correct. Whereas Adonai which isn't there, although they say it is, uh, referred to God the Son, the Son of David. Christ wanted them to see that the promised Messiah had to be both divine, they mean deity, and human. Now that's a grand falsehood, with great respect to these learned gentlemen. They really should look up that word and see that it's not Adonai, uh, the divine title at all. The word there in the Hebrew is Adoni, my Lord, 195 times, all of its occurrences, a non-deity title. That should tell us something about the relationship between God and non-deity, Jesus. However elevated, 
given all power and authority. All of those things are true. Resurrected from the dead, virginally begotten, and yet still Adonai, the man, Messiah, Jesus, at the right hand of the Father. Paul summed all this up so easily, and this would settle argument once and for all. Uh, there is one God, he said, and one mediator between that one God, that's the Father, of course, mediator between the one God and man, the man, Messiah, Jesus. And he's thinking there of Psalm 110.1, where Yahweh speaks in this oracle of Adonai, my Lord Messiah, the royal title, the royal messianic title, certainly Messiah, certainly Son of God, certainly not God the Son, which of course immediately creates the notion of two gods, and that's one too many. Thank you.